Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lauren Fix, and this is the 2023 Toyota Prius Prime. Now, we have covered the Prius before. This is the plug-in hybrid version, and there's a lot of changes. Think about it, 20 million Priuses sold. Is that Pri, Prius, I'm not really sure, over the last 25 years. This is all new, and it will be running for North American Car of the Year, and it'll probably run on a global basis for World Car. We're waiting for that list to come out. That tells you something about this vehicle. It is the fifth generation of this powertrain, but on the inside, there are a lot of changes that will really make a big difference. I wanna get started with the exterior of the vehicle. When you take a look at the design elements of the new Prius Prime, it is more modern, it is more progressive, yet it's still understated on the outside. Compared to the previous generation, the Prius Prime is two inches lower, one inch wider, one inch longer in length, and a hip point that's almost one inch lower. There's also an optional solar panel roof so you can charge while you're parking or driving. I do like the signature lighting, this LED running light, and this new light is also LED. The lower trim levels of the Prius Prime ride on 17 inch wheels with wheel covers. This is a top of the line vehicle. It's on aluminum alloy wheels that are 19 inch riding on all season tires. You will note that this vehicle is sleeker looking but still has that Prius look. It's pretty slippery with a coefficient of drag of 0.27. I'm pretty impressed with that because not too many vehicles on the market today are that slippery. But you'll notice that this has a glass roof or you can get the solar panel like I was saying earlier. It's actually pretty cool. And additionally, you'll see that this vehicle is really clean lines, very modern. The door latch is up here. Again, a little bit different than the previous generation, but it's got some muscular hips on it as well. On the left rear quarter of the vehicle, you have your gas door. On the right side, your charge port. Coming around to the back, you can see this really slippery looking car. Looks modern, looks clean, and if you ever thought I don't want to own a Prius because it looks weird, it doesn't anymore. It actually looks really cool and very futuristic. What you'll also note is you've got this third brake light right here. XSE is our trim level. Prius in this matted out black, very cool prime and beyond zero, which is the new logo you're going to start seeing on all the vehicles. These are vehicles that are going to be plug-in hybrids. That means you get that $7,500 tax credit, but it also means it's cleaner for the environment. Toyota's going to continue to build gasoline-powered vehicles, hybrids, plug-ins, as well as BEVs. You'll notice that overall in the back, it is clean and very modern. Take a look at these seats. Big, aggressive headrest, which is good for protecting you in case of whiplash. Red stitching on the headrest. Further down, red stitching mixed with this red detail. I love it. I think I'm really impressed with the look. The seats are super comfortable. And lumbar, again, this is the top trim level. Here in the second row, there is more room. Why? Because they moved the batteries forward giving space for the fuel tank, but also giving more space for you as a passenger. So it does rearrange the undercarriage of the car. That really doesn't make a difference to you driving, but it makes a difference to the second row passengers. You've got more knee room. I'm 5'8". This seat is set for me, and I'm sitting behind myself, essentially, and there's tons of room. So if you've got child safety seats, one on each of the outboard locations, and it holds two, they won't be kicking you. That's really important. Behind the passenger seat is a pocket. Currently, we've got two umbrellas because, as you can see, it's raining. There is also charge ports underneath the back side of the console. There is no vents. Now, in the doors, you've got your regular doors and, of course, a pocket for your items. In the center, you've got two cup holders. This folds up. Third person can sit here. It splits 60-40, and you can access the back. Lots of changes on the inside of the Prius Prime. Most of your controls are here on the steering wheel, which is really nice. Very nicely done. All your safety features, cruise control, and your modes are there. In front of you, like any Prius, you've got all of the gauges and all the information you need for driving. Currently, we are driving in the auto EV mode, but I really just like how clean they made this car and super, super modern. Let me show you some of the modern features. If you've always thought, I like the Prius, I don't like the look, whatever, on the interior, you got to take a look at the new one because besides the fact this is a premium, this is loaded, I want to show you all the options. Heated steering wheel, everything you need, including memory seats. Go to that center screen, it's 12.3 inches. Standard is 8-inch JBL audio. And again, 
everything is here. You've got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. It's got a Wi-Fi hotspot. One of the cool features we have in this vehicle is a solar roof, which is an option as well. Again, that's $660 on top of the top uh, trim level. You've got your Bluetooth audio. All of your climate control can be here as well as down here. Now, this is nice. Three-stage heated, three-stage ventilated. This has everything you need for climate control. Both sides, very nicely done. USB-C charging, wireless charging. This is the wireless charging. You just slot your phone right in there. This is the new shifter that they're using. Your drive modes are here. Going forward, custom, sport, eco. If you wanna go all EV, there is the EV only drive modes that are here. Your auto hold, trash control, and parking brake is there. The one thing I'm really impressed with is this red color theme. You can see that's ambient lighting, but also this is red. It's like a anodized uh, aluminum. Not sure exactly what the material is, but it looks really cool. The doors are as expected, normal with your JBL audio system there. Because there is a solar roof, there is no sunroof, but that shows it right there on your vehicle. So when it starts to charge as you drive, we'll show you that as we drive, but the idea is that all of these different energy systems are there to help give you a little bit of extended battery life. Of course, all your general settings are here, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, display, sound, literally everything you're gonna need is here, including automatic downloads. Really like this upgraded system. Very impressed with what they have done with this vehicle. If you've ever driven a Prius before, you've owned a Prius, big changes, they're gonna sell a heck of a lot of these. Under the hood of the Prius Prime is a two liter four cylinder engine. It's an aluminum block and head. It's double overhead cam. The transmission is an electronically controlled CVT. The platform is front wheel drive. Horsepower, 220 combined net horsepower. That's 150 from the engine and the rest comes from the battery, which is a 13.6 kilowatt hour battery. The electronic motor brings in 161 horsepower. Fuel economy is 48 miles to the gallon combined. MPGE, 114. The range is 39 miles in EV mode. Charge time is four hours on a 240 volt or 11 hours on a 120 wall outlet. Inside the Prius Prime is pretty impressive. Now, if you've driven a Prius before, you have an expectation, but this is completely new. Now, in addition to that, I do want to let you know that Toyota has putting $3.5 million into a battery plant in North Carolina so that you can get that $7,500 tax credit. These are also built here in the US, which is really important when you're buying a plug-in hybrid, you want to make sure to get those tax credits because otherwise you're leaving money on the table. It'd be foolish to do that. But in addition to that, we've got a lot of changes inside this vehicle. From a performance standpoint, the zero to 60 time is 6.6 .6 seconds. That's 40% faster than the previous generation. So if you thought, eh, it's kind of boring. No, no, this car has really got a lot of personality now. Put it into that sport mode. You can put your foot in it, even while driving. It's got really nice pickup, much improved over the previous generation. And there's a lot of other things too. They've moved the battery so that there's more room in the second row. They've done a lot of not just suspension and handling changes, but also the powertrain. And this is why this vehicle is so impressive to so many of us journalists that were out here driving it. We're like, this is a big departure from the previous generation, which was good. This is even better. What you're not going to lose is this huge piece of glass that is sort of a Prius design styling. So you can see out the front. It's got a lot of that uniqueness that makes Prius what it is. Pretty good visibility. You've got a backup camera, which is very clear, which is important. And of course, your side mirrors. But you get Toyota Safety Sense 3.0. So this has blind spot detection, rear cross traffic alert. All the safety features come standard on all trim levels. That is important, especially if you're buying this for a student, you're buying this as your first car, maybe you just want something you're transporting your family, or maybe you're just driving by yourself. Safety is critical and Toyota makes it standard. That's always been their goal to make it standard and they've done a great job. Now, as far as the interior details of this car, now we're driving the XSE Premium and our test vehicle has the solar roof. Now, what does that mean? So while I'm sitting in traffic here, especially here in California and maybe you just stuck in rush hour traffic. 
you can charge up that battery just a little bit. And that's really important because I don't think people realize that every little bit helps and it does. If that means you drive in eco mode rather than sport mode, so we'll go back down to that eco mode, that more normal mode, eco. This is eco driving. Still has pretty good pickup. We did a good job. I think part of it is just rearranging everything, making it better, listening to feedback from you, and that's what Toyota did. But as far as the, there's an all EV mode as well, if you wish to just go with that pure electric, that's good. Now what you're getting is 52 miles to the gallon. Prius has always, always had top fuel economy. You want to impress someone? Ask them what they're getting for fuel economy. Doubt they're getting 52. I'm talking about a hybrid or an electric car. That's a different situation. So if you're talking electric cars, a whole other animal. Prius has stated to us that they're going to bring out 14 more models by 2030 that are all plug-in hybrids. They're going to have a mix of gas, plug-in hybrid, and all electric so that you can make the choice for what works for you. That's why there's a Prius or there's a Prius Prime. Are they gonna have an electric version? We asked. We didn't really get an answer, but we assume that that's coming down the road. That's pretty typical. That's how they always answer us like, well, we can't talk about that now. But the truth of it is, this vehicle is so good the way it is, you could go all electric if you want, but if you want to go on a road trip, you want this vehicle because you can plug in if you want to, you can use gasoline if you want to, you get the best of both worlds. The reason people buy the Prius and they like the Prius Prime is you get the best of both worlds. You get an electric vehicle, so you get the tax credit. You have a vehicle that's unbelievable fuel economy at 52 miles to the gallon, top safety standard. The vehicle looks better. There's a lot of improvements to this car. So if you haven't driven a Prius in a long time or maybe you've poo-pooed it, go drive this. You'll be surprised, especially if you're looking for something that gives you high fuel economy and you want to take advantage of that tax credit because it may not last forever. You never know. And if you're thinking about a new vehicle or something for a new driver, this is one you should absolutely consider. As far as handling for this vehicle, it's very precise, easy to drive, good steering input, the brakes are good. Nice quiet ride also, which is I think important. When you put your foot in it, it's a little loud, but that's to be expected because it's a small gasoline powered engine. But as far as the vehicle itself, it's doing pretty good. I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed with the handling. When it comes to cargo space for the Prius and the Prius Prime, you're looking at 27.4 cubic feet of storage. Underneath is charging cables, a great place to store them. And then if you fold down the seats or 60, 40, you'll have additional space. The 2023 Toyota Prius Prime starts at 32,000 and this one is $39,170. It's an XSE trim, it is fully loaded. The only option it's missing is that solar sunroof, which is an additional $660. Now Toyota is well aware there's gonna be a high demand for the Prime because of that $7,500 tax credit, because this vehicle is built in the United States and they're also built a battery factory here in North Carolina. I will let you know that they're planning on building 15,000 Prius Primes for this year. There'll be more for next year. That's part of their scheduling, but there's going to be a high demand for this vehicle. So if you want a Prius Prime, I suggest you put your order in as soon as possible. There are a lot of competitors in this category, not just plug-in hybrids, regular hybrids, which includes the Prius itself without the Prime version. And of course you get BEVs and there's lots of those available or just a gasoline powered version. I highly suggest whatever you're considering, test drive it. I know I did not cover every single little detail on the Prius Prime, so if you have additional questions, put it down in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer your question. When you test drive all the competitors, which have gasoline powered, hybrids, plug-in hybrids, and battery electric vehicles, it's important you check with your insurance company, find out what your rates are, so you can find out what the total budget is gonna cost you. If you got value from this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. We're here in Carlsbad, California. Unfortunately, it rained all day, but we were able to show you the brand new Prius Prime. If you'd like to support our channel, you can buy me a cup of coffee. The link for that is down below, as well as for the website, the podcast, the book, and all my social media. Thank you so much for your time, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time.